Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Sensi Saturday. And today we are going to talk about the last two that we're going to be doing for winter. We're going to be switching over to spring, summer, or just actually just kind of like non-winter. Um, and this is Whiteout and Very Merry Cranberry. And I can tell you, first off, I love both of these. Uh, Very Merry Cranberry, uh, Sensi describes as lush red winter berries pop against the backdrop of snow-covered cedar, creating a lovely winter landscape. And definitely, I would agree with all of that. Um, definitely, you get the berries, and I get a tart berry. It's not too sweet, and um, there is a little bit of a woodsy note, more cranberry than woodsy, but it definitely reads to me Christmas. Like, I will be melting this again. I have backups of this already in my stash, and um, yeah, it's, it's a favorite of mine. It's probably one of my favorites because I do like tart berry scents. Um, snow covered cedar. I don't know what snow covered is supposed to be. Is it minty? I didn't get any mint in this, but definitely I got tart berries <clears throat> and some woodsy notes in there. And it was really, really lovely. I really enjoy it. This one I absolutely love. It's my last one. I don't have any more. It's not available on the website. I'm just going to be hoping that it comes back next winter. It is so good. Uh, this, the, sorry, the throw on this is probably seven, seven and a half <clears throat> out of ten. Very good thrower. Whiteout is an exhilarating blast of cool peppermint plus sweet golden apple over frosty winter pine. Definitely exhilarating, cool. It's a blast. Of, yes, it's minty. I have a cold now, but yeah, I can still smell the mint. It was definitely minty. <clears throat> Pardon me. It's cold. It's my second cold already this year. Um. I actually did get a little bit of the apple. I was kind of surprised that I would. I thought the peppermint would overtake it. Um, and I did get some pine as well. But definitely the predominant note here is cool peppermint. I would say probably, you know, I don't know. 60 peppermint, 20 apple, 20 pine, something like that. Predominantly um, peppermint. But as I said, you do get no, the you can't smell the notes of the other one. The throw on this one eight, eight and a half, nine out of 10. It was super strong. It lasts because I was sick. I didn't even mess with my warmers for like a day or so. I just come, kind of, well, I'm still kind of sick, but that was in for like two days straight. And it was still going strong when I took it out. It was really, really good. If you like cool, minty, refreshing, it, that's it for you. It's it. It's, it's the bomb. I really, really love it. So I'm really hoping it comes back again next year. Okay, uh, so starting for the next batch, we have Central Park Pralines. Hello, there we go. Coconut Cotton. Southern Evening. And Apple Butter Frosting. So the per first person to comment down below, that will be the wax I will, that's nail polish remover. Um, this was new when I, when I, this was brand spanking new and I did it like within, you know, let's make it hard. The first person to respond down below, that will be the wax I will melt and review next week. Um, also, I want to shout out some uh, Sensi consultants. If you're here in the States and you need a consultant, Lisa Roberry is who I use and she has a Facebook page and an Instagram and a YouTube channel, Lisa Roberry. Um, also, which I didn't know until recently, Angela, I don't know why I didn't know that you were a Sensi consultant, but Angela at My Clothes Smell Like Candles also is a Sensi consultant. And if you're in Canada, uh, Patricia Getz, G-A-E-T-Z from Nose to Toes is a Sensi consultant in Canada. So, uh, if you need a consultant, consultant, there's three fabulous ladies right there to help you out. Oh, well, if I'm talking about Sensi consultants, let me talk about John as well. John, um... Oh my God, his name just popped in my head and I forgot it. From, um, oh my goodness. The, um, I'll put it down below. It was in my head just a minute ago and it just escaped me. John Sparks, sorry. Yeah. Um, look out for his channel as well. So uh, that's it. Clearly my head is not on right today. So we'll wrap it up and I will see you next week for Sensi Saturday. Bye.